Okay. So, he's trying to figure out what to initialize next right now. Okay, well, I guess we will initialize our extensions. So our function for our next one will load our extensions for OpenGL, bool, OGL, load extensions. And this could, this could be a short function, so don't worry. WGL context is something in context ITRIPS ARV. And we can set that to, you can typecast it to a PF, PFN WGL create context attributes. Oh, I kind of memorized all of that. And then we can use a, a function WGL get proc address. And we can uh, call it WGL create context attributes ARB. And make sure it's actually initialized correctly. So WGL create context. And if it didn't initialize it correctly, then we can return false. And if it doesn't go in there, that means it worked. So return true. So this was a short function. Yay, short, hooray for short functions. Okay, our next thing was to Okay, this is going to be a long one, a little bit longer than the other one. You know what, I'm going to initialize this first because it makes sense to be initialized at the beginning. So, I'll initialize it here. You can put it anywhere you guys want, so. Functions. We can initialize our OpenGL. Probably. Initialize OpenGL. So, got a bool OGL. Initialize OGL. Oh, you know what? There's something I forgot to put in here. Where's initialize OGL? We can pass in a parameter that that would tell us if we want B sync in here or not. I'm pretty sure you guys know what B sync is. So, this will tell us if we want. Our OpenGL stuff to do B sync in here. See, I love, that's what I love about Visual Studio 2012 because it color codes everything. It's so much easier to see. I love it. So, for our first thing, we can let our console tell us that is it actually initializing OpenGL right now. This is why I love console applications. Initialize OpenGL. And make sure you end the line. So uh, for our first variable, we're gonna call it attribute, or just attributes for short. No, well, you know what? For whatever, you call it list that contains a list of events, which will contain 19. Which I'll tell you why it contains 19. Because you're not, we all, we all can. Oh, I can't even talk today. All we can use is all 19 of them. So just no 20. So. I don't know why 20 is alone. I'm sorry. Our next one is going to be pixel format again. Int result equals zero. Pixel description. No, pixel format descriptor. I'm lying to you guys again. I'm so sorry. And pixel format. Descript, descript, descriptor, An int, attrib, attribute, if I can spell right. See, it sucks when you try not to look at the keyboard. I'm surprised I'm actually getting most of it without actually looking at the keyboard, but whatever. Char, pointer, uh, you're gonna call it the vendor string. This, this, these are what the ones we can use in order to get our stuff for uh, the video card and renderer string I don't know why you can call it renderer string you know what it's not really a string so I'm gonna call it char 
Well, why not? I'll, I'll be a, um, the rebel and not do that. So, we're gonna get the device. So, um, damn it. I'm gonna start looking at my keyboard. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to look at the keyboard. Device, contact, contacts, contacts. You're gonna get the DC. What's wrong with me today? I can't type. And then we're gonna make sure you actually initialized it correctly, because if it didn't, then we're gonna return false. Tough cookies, huh? Then we can set OpenGL for rendering. Say so OpenGL rendering. Renderer, rendering stuff. And we're gonna use, make sure you use the attribute list of int. I misspelled it, didn't I? Yes, I did. We're gonna set the first one to equal to WGL support. OpenGL attribute, OpenGL RAB. You know, I'm gonna copy this because seriously, I would not, I would hate to retype that again. Make sure you copy it. So, so basically, you can, uh, the first one is set to that, and we can set that to true. For the next array, we can have um, support for our window for rendering. So, it'll be two. And we're gonna say WGL draw to window ARB. And we're gonna set that to true. The next part, we can uh, um, support for hardware acceleration. I'm gonna set that to four equals WGL acceleration ARB and set the, f the fifth one to be to be WGL for acceleration ARB and gonna for the next two for our next uh, two it's gonna support for 20 bit 24 bit color and we can set the six one to be to be here not to be WGL color bits ARB and we can set that to equal 20 wait yeah I was looking at the wrong one set that to 24. For our next part, we can set our 24-bit buffer. Twenty-four bit buffer. Def buffer. And we're gonna set the eighth one to equal WGL def bits ARB. Def buffer. No, it's not def buffer, def. Make sure it's the depth bits ARB. And we can set that to 24 as well. Oh, yeah, not yet, not yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. And we can have a support for our double buffer. And we can set that to the 10th one to equal WGL. Double buffer ARB, and we can set that to equal true. I know this is a long one, but I'm telling you, we're gonna use all 19 of it or 18. 19, yeah, what I'm talking about. Support, we can add for next two is gonna be support for our uh, for swapping back and front buffers. 
front and back buffers. And for our twelfth one, we're gonna set it to a WGL swap underscore method ARB. And for the next one, it's gonna be W. Let me make sure it's set equals WGL swap exchange exchange. A or B, where's it? Exchange. There we go. Oh, no wonder I didn't get it right. For our next two, you can have support for RGBA a pixel type. I seriously gonna put some music in here. Like seriously, I apologize for um, what is boy tutorial, guys. <sighs> Even I'm getting tired. No, I'm just kidding. Or maybe a little. Just a little, guys. Just a little. WGL pixel type ARB, and we can set our next one to 15 to be. Your WGL type RGBA ARB is four more guys. Well, actually, two about two, three more. Three more. So, our the last one is going to be for our stencil buffer and support, support for our 8 bit stencil buffer. So 16 is going to be WGL stencil buffer, eight stencil bits ARB. And we can set that to 8 because it's 8 bits. Whoop de doo, right? And then we can set the last one to be our uh, no ter terminator. So we could let it know that this is the end for our, of our attribute list. So we can set that to zero. Okay, now that we have that, we almost we're not done, guys. We're kind of like halfway. So probably could like pause it now and take a drink or something like I am right now. I'm gonna take a drink of my shake right now. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And if you took a break right now, and welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Wait for a pixel. Format that format that well I guess what can how can I say this? I guess uh query for a pixel format that that will get our attributes that we want. So we can call it pixel format equals the shoes pixel format, and we can call it m device context. I miss you, context pixel format. Oh, I had it pixel format, and we can pass in the pixel descriptor. Make sure you dereference it with the ampersand. And make, you can make sure pixel format. If pixel format equals zero, then we want to return false. What did I mess up in here? Oh really? Oh yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know. What I'm thinking, guys. Sorry about that. So once you have that, make sure you set that. Make sure you delete that that I had in here. There's only two parameters in here. Uh, 
And if you work, that means our video card can handle our stuff. Video, if it passes the top part, that means. If we can handle our pixel format. We can call this function. So you make sure you set pixel format. And this one is gonna be the pixel format. This one contains all three parameters, so. I was thinking of the wrong one, guys. I was thinking of the wrong one. I was a little bit ahead of myself. And make sure he initialized it right because if it didn't, I'm gonna have to slap myself a little. Get some sense into me and not give you guys errors because of my fault. So basically, now that once you reaction can handle all this stuff, we're gonna make it temporary. We're gonna make it temporary context that will initialize our OpenGL Wrangler so we're gonna call H HGL RC and it's a temp OpenGL it's just so we can initialize our, our stuff which will equal WGL create Contacts and M device 